Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found the ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. I will get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the birds. An abandoned tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. Welcome to my humble shop. A magi? How surprising. Seeking magical runes? I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course, I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business. An inventory. A talisman in blue faience is listed here. I should keep looking around. Hmm. A thing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, uh, she is hiding something. In the second chamber lie the worldly goods of our Apollo and Shesh to protect them and provide them sustenance. The message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. and did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased.
I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the Pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the Pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Patar's blessing on you. childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Oh. Burning corpses? This is blasphemy. But hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. 
What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Another Sobek for your nourishment. The family will now lose their land. They used to eat there at the no arms kitchen in the market, the body. but soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. <clears throat> this food is rancid. It smells like shit. It is completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguisingly rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. <laughs> Though the food is humble, it gives Tell me life. about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. Oh. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Let's go. This way. <laughs> I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, oh, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes, so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you've been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easy if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you were reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this. We could have worked this out. I'm not dying this. Oh, 
Where are my men? They were just filthy beggars. Why do you care so much about them? No one will miss them. We can talk about this. I'm wealthy. I can pay you. Name your price. You're being unreasonable. This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more Bani. Stealing from a god is the gravest of blasphemy. No punishment is too great for such a transgression. So make it quick. on site here. <clears throat> Forgive me. <laughs> A recent shipwreck. This could be it. A golden statue of Sobek. Beautifully made, just as the boy said it would be. <laughs> that last time. A golden statue of Sobek. It is beautiful. The boy tells the truth. I should return these gold Sobeks to that odious priest. Let us be this worthless boy is an example. He's a caution to all those who would blast. Priest, I have your precious golden Sobex. Your novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Your priest clothing is just a mask for cowardice. God, the gods, I hate masks. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole. I am Medjai, you dishonorable dog. I have the authority here, Medjai. Your authority is removed with your mask, priest. May you walk in the land of the Duat. What do I do now? The temple will not accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple, 
or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. Hmm. <laughs>